Okay, this video is intended to show you the basic features of your board once you're logged in, how to navigate around and set up your um, home screen with the things that you want. So the first thing that you see once you're logged in is you'll see your name down in the lower left-hand corner saying that you are logged in as you. Um, you're across on either side of the board, you have two arrows that come in and those arrows, you can actually move them up and down and those will open up your uh, sidebar menus and so you hold your finger down when the menu is closed and I can raise and lower those to whatever height that I'd like to and your side menus on both sides are identical um, you have home which will always bring you back to your dashboard and home screen you have return which will go back one uh, like a, it will go back one screen for you then you have your application windows which shows all of the applications that you currently have open and much like uh, your phone, you have to close out those applications. It's when you switch from one thing to the next without closing out, it keeps them running in the background. So I can click on the X to close out all of these applications that I've got, so that I don't have anything else that's running. You also have the ability to get into the easy, which is your easy write feature. There's a whole other tutorial for the easy write feature. Easy write is also accessible not only from your side menus, but also from the um, toolbar at the bottom of the screen. EasyWrite is one of the tools that a substitute can get to without being logged in on the board. And so um, that's a great feature for the subs as well. And then you have your EasyWrite annotation tool, which is uh, the circle with the easy in it, which brings up your on-screen annotation tool for writing on websites. It'll be another tutorial with that. Um, you can get to it by clicking on that easy icon in there or using a um, method that I call patience and peace, so two fingers and kind of the peace sign, and you'll click anywhere on the board and hold, and it will open up the easy right. So you have to have just a little bit of patience. That's to do it immediately. Click the easy logo to turn that off and on if you are done with that. Um, so then what we are going to look at next is your app launch window, which is down in the lower corner for you. Again, you can change and move where you would like your app launch window to go. I can click to put it, do I want it in the middle? It, it, it does have to stay on the bottom. You cannot put it on the top, but I can arrange it left to right where I think that I would like it to be. Um, and then you can also have multiple pages of your app launch window of all the applications or things that you would like to have in your quick launch bar. Um, background has to be changed from the AMS account sign in on your Chromebook or computer, you cannot change your backgrounds on the board itself. Um, you can also load your pin the apps into your app launcher from your account management system on your Chromebook or PC, but you can't do that on your, on your board as well. Um, along the uh, bottom then your toolbar, you have, uh, this would be your source or connections. So when you click onto this, this will open up all of the connection input sources that you have. Android is the board itself, so that's for the board. If you have perhaps a DVD player connected to an HDMI, Blu-ray player, something else like that, you can connect to it here. You can also get to the InstaShare, um, which is the sharing of screens to the board itself. And so you can do that. Uh, the next icon over opens up your EasyWrite, a whole other tutorial on EasyWrite itself. Then the four waffle is your apps and widgets. This is really the bread and butter of where you're gonna set your board up once you get in. Um, first thing on the apps, you've got the apps that you can install. Um, you have some that are in a menu. Right now, Firefox is the preferred browser uh, for you if you're gonna use a web browser, so you definitely would want to have the Firefox. If you want to bring um, an app over that's in the app launcher, you simply click on it to hold. You can bring it over and you can bring over multiple instances. So I actually brought over two Firefoxes. So if I want to get rid of one, I can click and hold it, bring it up into the middle to remove it, and I can just drop it in there to remove it. So that would be how you add any of your apps in here. A couple of ones that I think you absolutely are essential for you, the AMS files. This uh, app will is once you've linked to your Google Drive, again, doing that through your a BenQ account management system login on your PC or Chromebook. Uh, you can link to your Google Drive and get to any of your files on your Google Drive. This is where all of the files, everything that's stored to the board, most files immediately get stored directly to the board, then you have to move them to your Google Drive. So this is a, an absolute essential tool to have. 
Um, InstaShare, I also really enjoy having the InstaShare. It makes it much easier than having to go down to do the connections to go across. Click on InstaShare and that will open up the window for the InstaShare abilities for the iOS, Android, and uh, Chrome uh, PC sharing to the board itself. And so we'll, we'll talk more about that one in a later tutorial. Um, and then I also, in there, you have uh, BenQ Suggest, which if you don't see an application that's in here, you can go into the BenQ Suggest. Um, BenQ Suggest has applications that are loaded, preloaded in there. You have some educational ones. Then you can go into the uh, corporate or what would be considered non-educational tools, see what are the different things that are in there that you can get into to look at for your bank tools. Most of the stuff that you're going to want to use, though, should be just in the, the apps that are loaded up on the board by our district. Um, widgets are much like widgets on your phone. Um, there's a great number of them. I'm not going to go through all of them. Um, but you can go through and look at the different types of widgets that you can install on your board to kind of uh, help you customize your dashboard the way that you would like. Um, so one, I'll give you the uh, clock. So if I like the clock and I really want to know what time it is, I can drag the clock in, I can put it into my board. Um, and then again, if I click and hold my finger on it, I can drag it to another location on my board. I can put it somewhere else that I would like it to go. Your widgets are going to be at the you, at the top of your board because your app launcher window is at the bottom of the board. Okay, so with my if I find a widget that I don't want anymore, I can simply click on it, drag it down to remove, remove that widget. There are a ton of widgets. Um, one of the, the the best widgets that we're going to talk about in a separate tutorial is the bookmark widget to really help set up your bookmarks. And so that's going to be a separate tutorial that I strongly encourage you to check out getting set up for your board. But I'll show you what that one looks like. So if I, I've got my bookmark widget, I've already put one in here for my Google Classrooms. So when I click on this, it's right on my board. I put it up in the corner and it will take me directly to my Google Classroom. So then I can um, begin going through my instruction or anything that I need to do through my Google Classroom right from my board. So I've got everything set up right in my board from my Google Classroom. So that's a great widget tool for you. So real simple, real quick set up and how to get into the board. Uh, last thing you have are your settings. Um, some of the things that you can go into for your settings is you can set up what do you want your volume levels to be. Um, you can set up if you're showing a movie, you have a little bit more volume so you can get different things going. Uh, so that'll get you some things set up there. You can also um, set up there is you can turn the easy floating tool on or off if you want to do that. And those are board specific tools. Um, not a lot that you should necessarily be getting into and messing around in there, but there are some settings that you can change if you'd like to do a little bit more advanced. And that's a quick overview of the dashboard or home screen of your BenQ Interactive Flat Panel.